Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Spiritual Sag. So, baby, let's see what's going on for y'all. Y'all know every time I do a reading, everybody got to come outside. Everybody got to crank up their cars. It's almost like there's somebody just watching, waiting for me to start my reading so they can interrupt them. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. So, anyway, Divine Holy Spirit, Ancestors of the Highest White Light, Allow me to channel the energy around my collective, please, and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. Um, this is only going to be for those of you who are speaking the truth on a platform. You need to know people are trying to mess with your voice. You waking up hoarse and you know you haven't been screaming. No, somebody was doing something, but what they wanted to happen... It won't work. Somebody wants you to lose your voice. You might get hoarse, but you ain't gonna lose your voice, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. What messages do you have? A change in the wind. Alright, so y'all, I've been picking up on this. There's a, there's an energy shift, and everybody feels it. And like I told you, those people who had what I specifically was picking up on karmic energies who had positions that they know they should not have had, whether this is business or romantic, they are trying to hold on for dear life, okay? Because there's about to be a big change in the wind. Um, you see that zebra? Something has been oppressing this house. Y'all know I've been picking up on the energy in my uh, kipper deck. The house keeps coming out. And I told y'all, it's not a home. It's a bunch of office buildings in that house. This house here has been oppressing this zebra. If you have this deck at home, look at this uh, person who's sitting in this gazebo. They have on a witch hat. They got like a whole witch costume on. So back to what I was saying. Someone could be doing 222 on the phone. Spell word because they want you to shut the fuck up. Okay? But um, this zebra, I don't care what you throw on top of, you still see it, right? And um, this, there's something, there could be something exotic about you or... Because I'm picking this zebra up as you, collective. Alright? Um, these changes, baby. Something's going on behind the scenes. You see that moon? From the north to the south. Wow. From the north to the south, changes are being made. But I'm also getting that in another way. You know, north and south, I'm getting that something's coming from the higher up. Okay. Because something's been here for so long, the damn roof is growing weeds out of it. They're definitely needed. There's time for a change. A change in the wind here. So maybe, you know, at work, they could be changing policies or procedures. I know when I went into my office earlier today, they, they normally do things, this little uh, class that they have, they normally do it on Mondays, but now they're, they're changing it to, to Wednesdays. So maybe when you're going into places, you're hearing people, because this is happening all over. So... Um, even in your relationship, you, you might have a conversation with your person. And it might start out like, okay, we need to change this. We need to change that. You may be talking with your kids. Hey, we need to change this, change it. There's change. And I'm telling you, it's happening across the board from the north to the south. Okay? Um, so basically from top to bottom. Clean, sweet from top to bottom. And um, those people who have, some people have certain positions that they just know they shouldn't have. But they've been in them for so long. Okay, it's so comfortable. Look at the weeds growing out the house, y'all. It's so comfortable. They, some of these people are like, by any means necessary, they're not going to surrender this. Okay? Um, but it's happening. There's a change in the wind here. Yep, and some of you guys have a deep knowing. But here's the thing. You see that moon behind you? This is also you. Okay? Some of you guys could be very intuitive. This is like the high priestess card. But I already said, with this half moon, something is happening over moon cycles. But also something's happening behind the scenes. So you may not see this 
this big change that's happening, I don't feel like you're seeing it while it's happening. But for some of y'all, some of this shit is going to be like in the media and stuff. People are going to be talking about it. Um, Because like I said, it's happening all over. So when you get ready to walk into your kid's school, you might see a big sign posted and says, okay, these are the changes that we made. Um, uh, effective, some of these, I'm hearing effective immediately. Okay? Um, say for instance, you walk into your doctor's office, you might see a big sign posted, hey, this is a change that we made. So like I said, it's happening across the board. So don't feel like anybody's singling you out. This shift is, is getting a little bit uncomfortable from people. You see what I'm saying? Um, so let's keep going. <clears throat> Time for a nap. Yeah, the fox. I'm getting like sneaky energies. It's it's time. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for you, baby. And then there's another moon. But it's time for this energy uh, to, it's a change, okay? 24 breaking down to a six. And I feel like more light is being brought in. Okay? And uh, more balance. So this darkness with the moon, shit that was going on behind the scenes, things that were being swept under the rug and kept on the hush-hush, all of that is being brought to the forefront. And, and there's about to be some changes effective immediately. You might get ready to go into the bank and see a sign posted. Hey, office hours have changed. Effective, whatever, whatever. I'm telling y'all, it is literally. Start paying attention. The first card out was changing the wind. Start paying attention. You're going to see these signs everywhere because it's happening across the board. All right. Now, specifically for my collective, um... Some of you guys are going to feel it. You're going to get like the backlash. Or. I'm just getting like daggers being pointed at you. And I feel like it's because. Whatever's being removed or being changed. Some of you are stepping into those positions. Some of you are going to be filling those roles. Or whatever they, whatever they are. Okay. And so, uh, or people could be feeling as if it's your fault because I've been picking that up a lot. Um, but it's energetically because I noticed in the last few days I've been really, really self critical. And I'm an empath, so and I, you know, I pick up on energies easily. And so, not saying that I'm perfect and I don't have a reason to be self critical, but it's extra. And it's not me. It's the energies that I'm picking up on. Okay? Because people could be feeling as if it's your fault. So you're picking up on these energies of people uh, possibly trying to... Because like I'm telling you, some of you motherfuckers are trying to go out with a bang. They holding on for dear life. So, especially if you're someone who speaks the truth. Remember I said at the beginning, somebody could be doing spell work on, over you at night while you sleep. Clean the house. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. Chop wood. You see that broom? Somebody is, is, like I said, a clean sweep. I just said that. Look at that broom. A clean sweep from top to bottom. Um, and now you got TikTok. Ooh. Something could happen on the 14th or the 15th. All right, y'all. Let's clarify this. Spirit. It may even it may even happen for you too again it's happening across the board so some things may be changing you may be changing locations as far as where you live uh, maybe you're if you work in this office you may get moved to a different office um, hell what you do for work may change some of you guys are gonna start seeing the things you used to be interested in you're not interested in anymore um, and then you might find out that you want to go start doing new things and meet new people. And it's just, it's a lot of changes going on, y'all. Okay? So, and this change is, is coming down from the heavens. Top to bottom. And so, with the blowing of this whistle, I know that's a trumpet, but I'm getting with the blowing of the whistle. There was, there'll be a lot of people, um receiving judgment okay 
so that people listen thank you spirit so that the like-minded individuals can partner um rightful people can get in rightful positions okay 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 yeah y'all we've seen the moon on damn near every card and it's because there's a lot of darkness going on some of you guys could be dealing with a scorpio there could be a scorpio getting called to do something with their uh with this water water for me you know it's it's emotions but it's also intuitiveness there could be a scorpio getting called to do something with their intuition here This little bitty crab coming to get these, the big bad wolf. There's a lot of DNA. Don't they look like little sperms? There's a lot of DNA upgrades going on as well. 1111 on the phone. A lot of spiritual gifts opening up to people. Because um, I told y'all two weeks ago, spirituality is about to be in every before you before it's over it'll be in like damn near every profession people will be wanting spiritual advisors because you know where they used to look at it as a bad thing because it's all about perspective you have to look at a person's intentions you know what i'm saying so there's going to be um people who want and whoever the scorpio is are you having highly added aspected somewhere um You're about, like I said, you're about to be called to do something with your intuition. Now, someone could be upset with you because I'm getting like an Easter egg hunt. Don't they look like little eggs? I'm picking up an Easter egg hunt. So somebody could be looking for clues, right? Something's going to be found. We might see the page of Pentacles. There's going to be some type of new discovery. Something's definitely going to be found here. Um, this Scorpio may get offered a... They're going to be able to do something very nice with their gifts. It may even be a dream job. One, two, three, four on the phone. But something's happening in divine order. I said this order's coming down from the heavens. With judgment. It's judgment day. It's time. Okay. Now you see there's a hard shell on this scorpion right here. And, and it's because you are built for this. But I feel like there's softness, ooey gooeyness on the inside of you. But whatever you're getting ready to walk into, you're built for it. And now I made a statement yesterday. I said there's two types of people who can walk in the trenches, right? This, the big bad wolves, this would be the trenches. The scorpion's getting ready to walk in these trenches. And it's only two people who can walk in the trenches and be unharmed. One is someone who was trained to do so. Okay? The second person is someone who has the hand of God on them. Divine protection on them. 1333 on the phone. Those are the only two types of people who can walk in the lion's den and be okay. And that's what this is, baby. This is the lion's den. Them two things right there. But you see this path that the scorpion's getting on? It's very narrow. And it's going straight to the light. And it's because they're getting ready to... Um, maybe you already have, have illuminated something. You're getting ready to do something with this water, with your intuition. All right, so let's take that out. Yeah, because you are the magician. There's a card in my green deck that says... You have all the tools you need to um, increase your income. And it also says there may be an opportunity for you to showcase your talent. I, there's a lot of downloads coming in with this infinity sign. And there's opening of, of your spiritual gifts. If you already have your gifts open, they're going to heighten. Okay? You do have everything you need. You have the pinnacle. You have the wand. You have the cup. And you have the sword. I'm hearing that song again that I was getting off of Coach Carter. We're untouchable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay? So maybe some of you guys are like, a, someone could be dealing with a Virgo. Or maybe someone is being viewed as a... And I was getting this the other day. I hope I say it right, y'all. A prodigy. It's someone who has extraordinary gifts. 
Now, everybody knows that the, the hermit is, is also viewed as a spiritual teacher. It's like a guru. It's because they, they spend a lot of time in isolation. There's a lot of, you know, later on in their life, they spend a lot of time in isolation. There's a lot of self-development, self-discovery going on with this person. But um, a lot of the times, this person is a high priestess. Well, we already saw that deep knowing. We already have the high priestess card out here. And so the divine... Because like I said, there's orders coming down from the divine. The divine is sharing some type of skill or something with this energy. And they're going to be taking action. The wands is all about taking action. This hermit, um, they're going to be called to... Some of you may turn into a star. You see that star inside of that lantern? But, yep, this is what's being removed. It's, it's time for a change. I cannot make it up. This toxicity... This, this is the darkness. And with the Wheel of Fortune, there's the, the snakes, the fox. Remember when that car said it's time for a rest and that fox was sleeping? Yeah. It, this Wheel of Fortune is giving um, the last shall be first, the first shall be last. Okay? Now, you have angels in all four corners. So, something could be being read or viewed in all four corners of the world. But I'm also getting that this change is happening across the board okay some of you guys could be authors someone people are going to be writing about this um because it's not just small simple changes like i'm telling you you might go to your kids school and uh where they normally do pta meetings tuesdays they've been doing it for tuesdays uh from six to eight for 30 years no changes and all of a sudden it's on a Friday uh, at noon, and everybody that comes gets pizza, and your kid gets an extra credit. It's just like, wow, you know, a after 30 years of doing something, because remember I said, something's been, it, this house has been on this zebra's back, all right? Something has been in effect for so long that weeds is growing out of it. So this change is due, all right? Um, and I feel like the changes that are coming in, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot better. There's also a card in there that says, there's a change coming your way. Embrace it because it's for the better. So let's start pulling. Let's pull some of these green cards, see what's going to come out. So this could be for somebody who has Virgo, highly aspected. Scorpio, highly aspected. Capricorn, highly aspected. Okay. You're about to be called to do something amazing. Yeah, some of you guys are in. Listen, consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts. Uh, yeah, contracts or any peacemaking careers. What did I say with the um, 24 breaking down to a 6? All about peace, balance, harmony. The changes that are being ushered in, is that's what it's going to bring. Peace. So, I mean, some of you could be getting into politics. Some of you could be getting into any any type of peacemaking career. Some of you may start, um, you may be speakers, teachers, anything that's going to bring balance, okay? And that can happen in any kind of way. Um, all right, so we have angelic help, business, and growth. Look at this. You know why? I'm going to read that bottom line. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities waiting to be discovered. Explore them. So that's possibly what you were doing in this hermit energy, right? With that self-discovery. Exploring yourself. Your gifts could have been opening up. Um, we have angelic help. So it says this is a time for you to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for because there's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. All right? Then you got the trust card. The universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you are experiencing this cycle. But this is going to be a good time to connect with your spirit guides. As we're going through that little change. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then you have growth. This change is going to cause growth from top to bottom. Just period. Everyone involved. Even people that's going to be on the judge, like the karmic end of the wheel, it's going to cause growth. 
And anytime, think about when you were growing up, right? Literally growing up. Um, I know my son would always complain of his knees or his legs hurting. And what do they call it? Growing pains. So with this growth, it's going to come some pain. I tell you all the time, there is no testimony without a test, okay? But that's why Spirit is telling you to trust. And you got this angelic help that you will be taken care of while you're going through this little shift right here, okay? Promising opportunities await. Expect good news and money matters. A raise or a new job offer. Because I said earlier, this scorpion is going to be called to do something with their intuition, okay? So we have caution. So use caution when making financial decisions. Um, because think about it. When you're going through this change, say for instance, you're in between jobs. Maybe you'll be without a job for a few months. You got to make sure that you can live. Even though Spirit is saying, trust that your needs will be met, it may be a little bit uncomfortable, you see. So just be cautious with your money. Um, it also says, do not enter, do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this, y'all. I have to go with what I said first. I said, do not enter the world of business. Take it how it's going to resonate, okay? Um, because I do feel like some of you may be having a lot of business offers coming your way. It's going to be different for everybody. You're just going to have to use your discernment, okay? Um, it says consider executive positions, becoming a CEO or anything in the corporate world. But it's time for you to elevate your awareness and think bigger. Um, because some of you guys are getting ready to step in situations that others are going to feel you're not qualified for you yourself may even feel that you're not qualified for it this is for some of y'all this is going to be so big you're going to know it was angelic help you're going to know that the most high god was lining up this career or blessing because it's that big and when the most high god do something they do it right i already said this this change here this is coming down from the first time I heard the trumpet was, I think it was 2020. It was either 2019 or 2020. Okay, that was the first time I heard it. Um, we could get biblical and go all the way off into it, but I'm just telling y'all what's going on right here. This change, this change, okay? Now, so the angel, this is what this is, angel Gabriel, blowing his trumpet. It's calling for this change, okay? And um, these angels, both of these angels are side by side. This is powerful. They're lining up some type of career or blessing for you because this is the chain. This is the change that's happening. This is being removed, okay? Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. All of the darkness. Like I said, shit that was being swept under the rug. Shit that was being done. Hush, hush. Um, backhand, you know, all of that, it's got to go. All right? And so, this is like the Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer. Y'all know in the Ace of Pentacles, that hand is coming from the divine. This is huge. And let's point out these spiritual bracelets that this person got on, has on because spirituality has a lot to do with whatever this is. Y'all know I've been picking up on higher fence. Uh, offering like Hierophants partnering up with High Priestess I've been picking up on that a lot okay so let's keep going <coughs> yeah it's gonna bring instability because whatever this whatever this was it was here for a long time so just like I said they normally do the PTA meetings on Tuesdays they was doing it like that for 30 years well, now that it's going to be on Friday, well, it's going to be like that for a long time, too. Okay, because what's happening is, across the board, the vibrations are rising. Which is why you see so many twin flames waking up, and everybody's talking about spirit guides. And, I mean, everybody's talking about synchronicities. That's what's happening across the board. Okay? So, yes. This is going to bring some type of uh, stability here. It says, your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Offerings. 
That's also the Ace of Pentacles. You have students. There it is. Dream job. I just said, listen, baby, if you a Scorpio, get ready. Or what What else does Scorpio talk? Scorpio deals with the deep, dark, you know, shit that people don't want to deal with, you know. Scorpio gets, they get deep off into it. That could also be why we have this deep knowing. Scorpions are very intuitive. I got a Scorpio moon. Scorpions are very, in, ooh, somebody could, Scorpio moon. Okay, but you see that owl right there, baby. But I feel like this is for an actual Scorpio. You got Scorpio somewhere. It could be in your sun. Or moon, because we got all these damn moons out here. But anyway, look, I said it. Teacher, oh my God, you have the ability to motivate others to strive and uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, being a motivational speaker. And then this card says... You could be earning money, doing something that you love, or a dream job may be offered to you because the people that was in those positions, whatever they were, a lot of you, first of all, it's just partnership. So, of course, some of it's going to be romantic, but some of it's going to be business because it's out here. And I'm telling you, these are positions that, that's how big it is. That's why the car says dream job. You wouldn't have never in a million years. That's why that other card said it's time for you to elevate your awareness and think bigger. Some of y'all are thinking too fucking small for whatever this whatever this is getting ready to come in for you is huge. And only the divine could work something like this. That's why you got angelic help. It literally says there is a career or a blessing lining up for you. So stay positive. Keep your thoughts positive. And it's hard to do so in the middle of that shift because there's a lot of uncertainty you know you know it's think about just like you if you were in between jobs the bills keep coming but you're not working huh your kids still get hungry but you're not working oh my god how am i gonna feed my kids how am i gonna um pay the bills you see that's why spirit says trust Huh? The universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. You may not be able to go out there and buy what you want, uh, but your needs will be met. Your needs will be met. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, you know, going through the unknown. Some of y'all are in the middle of the unknown, but you are exactly where you're supposed to be. There's a card in there that says that. All right? Um. So... You got the teacher and then you got the student. I love it. I love it. So it says work with a mentor to learn new skills. And then you got this teaching energy. Some of you guys could uh, be in school to pursue a higher education. Or maybe some of you guys work for the school district. I was picking up on PTA meetings and shit like that. So I don't know. But there's something about you that spirit needs for you to embrace. Because right now, during this time of uncertainty, there's going to be a light shed on that. Whatever that is that you have, the card says, embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Didn't I say over here with this Wheel of Fortune, something's being either seen or read about in all four corners of the world? Whatever this is about yourself, you need to embrace it, okay? Because right now is when there's about to be a flashlight on it. People are going to be probing it, looking into it, dissecting it, trying to figure out what it is. So in, embrace it, okay? And so we have patience, empress, leadership, life purpose. Didn't I say somebody was going to write about it? And so with these arguments, these are the people who are trying to hold on to the nail. These are these energies. It's time to go. It's time to go, okay? So during this time of uncertainty, Spirit says, say yes to the things you think you can't do because you absolutely can. All right? Abs yeah. Right? Uh, others could be envying your success. And y'all, this envy can literally come from anywhere. And let me tell you what the devil likes to do. They like to get in the people closest to you. Okay? So if you have family or friends or anybody displaying this envious behavior, you have to see it from a higher perspective. Don't even get into that 
how could you do me like this? How could you betray me? I gave you this, I did that for you. You know, don't even go there, okay? Because this devil needs a body. And like I said, the betrayal, it, it wouldn't hurt if it didn't came if it didn't if it didn't come from somebody that you was close to. The devil is seeking to destroy. Um the devil's also the author of confusion. So when the devil shows up, it's nothing nice. The devil, think about the energy of the devil. They have not one ounce of good in their body. They are literally here to kill, steal, and destroy. Period. Okay? So, it will come through people that's closest to you. And you just have to be ready for that. And and what, what did Jesus say? Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Okay? So... With this writer, your words have the power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. So some of you guys, um, a career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be just right for you. Also, during this time, you need to use words and visualize them as you write them so that you can manifest. Okay? And you got life purpose. So Spirit is saying, you will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. What is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. Also, ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out the vision. So with that second line, what's meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. These energies here, again, they're holding on to the nail. They are doing any and everything to keep things the same, right? So these people may even try to make you give up, you know, make you quit. Spirit say, oh, what's meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. So this during this time of uncertainty, it's uncomfortable for everybody. And everybody's looking for somebody to blame. But that's why you have to be able to see things from a higher perspective. That's why the reading is coming out, to let you know what's going on. There's definitely a change in the wind here. And like I said, during this time, you need to embrace whatever this unique thing is about you. Embrace it, okay? Then you have leadership. So... Yes, this is the time to step into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position. A lot of you, that's what you're about to step into. Leadership positions. Positions that you just like, what? Me? Okay. But Spirit says your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. During this hermit, during this, uh, and maybe this shit. This self-discovery could have been going on ever since 2020. For some of us, because someone has to start it, right? Somebody has to be the first to do this new thing, whatever this new change is. So say, for instance, um, let me give me something to drink, y'all. <coughs> okay, so even, even down to people who make dog food, somebody got to taste it before they can put it on the shelf. Huh? Any new thing that has has been that that came out, somebody had to somebody had to be the first. Somebody had to be the first. Period. So with these new leaders coming through, in whatever sector this is, so a lot of you could have woke up. That those are the twin flames that are here now. They're here to help in the um, and assist in the great awakening. Okay. So that's the, the these twin flames that are here now. They're they're the ones that'll be stepping into these leadership positions, life purpose. they those are the ones getting these dream jobs. And now you don't have to have a um because twin flame union starts with self. You have to that's that's the whole balance, right? You have to have the masculine and feminine energy within you and balance. Because most of the time people who are in the devil energy, they're mostly um working outside of their just masculine energy. And there needs to be more feminine, which is why we saw the Empress. Did you just see the Empress come out here? Yeah, with this parenthood, this is the Empress card. All right, so everything's been so masculine. Everything's been ran by a lot of masculine energy. Okay, let's don't twist my words. We're talking about energy. And so where we're going, we're, we're seeking balance, right? We're seeking enlightenment, 
understanding and there has to be balance so you'll also see a lot of more feminine energies stepping into leadership positions i'm not saying women per se could be but i'm saying more feminine energy the love the light the compassion the understanding um handling things in a different way because i see this rebel now i see this we'll talk about this in a minute but the rebel card it says you are a trailblazer and you're meant to see things differently to set a new path for others because like i said somebody has to be the first somebody has to implement whatever is being put into place okay um it says your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster this is a system right here that's coming down I don't, uh, it could be a belief system i don't know but it says your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way that could be a lot of um, how you guys are going to be teachers right just simply leading by example i'm telling you there's going to be a lot of more feminine energies to step into these new positions that's about to be available okay take out resume but yeah somebody getting ready to go to the next level just to for a period you're about to take your finances to the next level or it is time to do so and there's a chance for something extra in the air so get ready get ready okay i don't yeah persistence so your efforts have not gone unnoticed success is just around the corner this persistence that's that time of the unknown the the, the time of the uncertainty you could be thinking one thing and it's totally something else this is why um spirit is saying this is a good time to connect with your spirit guides because maybe they'll start giving you dreams and visions of what's going on but i feel like any of you who've been in this hermit mode that's the separation for preparation for the life purpose here because that's what people are getting ready to step into and when they get there they'll be there for a while okay it's a whole new way of of doing things okay and spirit says yes ace of swords okay what do i see destiny listen <laughs> believe in your dreams and passions it's your calling to follow them it also says whatever led you to this point in your life it was to direct you to a higher purpose do we not we, we have life purpose right here boo okay new exciting adventures await you don't look back only look to the future okay now what i'm getting with this past card let's read it first it says look to the past to understand the future a lesson an experience or an old skill and what i'm getting is what spirit wants you to do is because for some of you you might want to under you might want to know why is this happening blah 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 blah. look back anytime that there was a change being made some people was ready for and some were not Okay, and this is taking me back to a specific episode that I saw on uh, Unsolved Mysteries. This, it was a true story, right? His, and his name was Deputy Moore. But anyway, I forgot. I think it was in Texas or something like that. This Caucasian um, sheriff, deputy. I don't know who was ever over everybody, right? It was all white force. He hired two black deputies. Do you know they tried to kill them? They killed one of them, shot the other one in the eye. Because some people are not ready for change. So, it's going to be a little uncomfortable, you see. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, which is why you have to have that understanding. And, and that they did that in the 60s, so imagine how uncomfortable they was. So there's going to be changes here, even if it's as simple as the PTA meeting is being moved from Tuesday to Friday. So all of these parents, you know, when they got their jobs, those parents who are like really into going to the PTA meetings, their jobs already know everything's already worked out with the schedules. People have made plans, vacations. Blah, blah. So you're going to have parents who come and they're going to be bitching. They're going to be complaining like, hell no. Nah. And who the fuck are you? Why are you? Why are you changing this all of a sudden? We've been coming to this PTA meeting. Uh, on Tuesdays for 30 fucking years. Who the fuck are you? Who authorized you to do this? Let me speak to your man. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So wherever the change is happening, you got to know it's going to be some pushback. People want people to blame. And there's going to be some pushback. And that's just a little uncomfortable feeling, okay? But when everything's settled, 
Because one thing for sure and two things for certain, change happening anyway. It's happening anyway. Change has always been occurring. Some people just been, they just kept doing things their own way. Because I was getting another word, and I hope I say it right. A, fac a faction. It's like a small group within a group who got their own ideals and beliefs. Okay. So, baby, this is big. It, it, it's going to be across the board, okay? We see Peacemaker. We see Entertainment. Told you something was going to be in media. You got real estate. Um, you got leadership. Business. Across the board. And some of you who are watching me right now are going to be the first to implement these new changes. To step into these positions. Um, to be the trainers. To be the teachers. Okay? Teachers go through the most. You best to fucking believe it. But you built for it. You got this. Okay? So, baby. Uh, let's pull some of my green cards. And um, we'll close out with an angel message. Remember to be embracing. Do a lot of self-discovery. Talk to your angels. Embrace your unique style. You've always been picked on for, um, oh, with this unreliable, I said we were going to talk about this. It says, people are not following through on their promises to pay. So this goes to, I literally just said, changes have always been happening. People just decided not to do them. So this would be symbolic to the group that's within the group who have their own ideas and beliefs, okay? This is what's, this is what's got to go. It's got to go, Okay spirituality i literally said y'all at the beginning spirituality was going to be in a lot of these uh, job titles that we just saw people are going to be getting spiritual advisors the card says you may be called to become a spiritual advisor a healer or anything in the occult child but you're being you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time okay so Maybe a lot of you have been, over the last few years, dealing with the separation for preparation. It's because you're about to step into it. You're about to really use whatever that unique thing is. It's about to take you far. Okay? And for a lot of you, it's some type of spirituality. Some of you could be getting some type of windfall. Right? You're about to receive a windfall of money or a pay raise. Because like I said, uh, for some of y'all, these are jobs. For some of you, this is relationships. Whatever. And if it's a relationship, it's this type of relationship. It's going to be there for a while. Okay? Let's pull some of these purple cards. What's wrong? Mm. What? When I walked out of my classroom, like seven females walked up to me and hugged me. And then like, it was like ten of my other friends. Like, everybody going to miss me. I'm sad. Aww, yeah. All I don't know. I don't Oh, don't cry, Stink, but told you. I know territory, but you exactly where you're supposed to be. Hello? Baby, listen. You are in unknown territory. That's that uncertainty. Right? And it may feel cold. Look at that. And while you're here, you're opening up to your spiritual source. Huh? Finding sanctuary, opening up your spiritual source. So, um, you could, that's why spirit, the card says, talk to your spirit guides. That's you opening up to your spiritual source, being connected to the divine, okay? You're right where you're supposed to be, and you're being guided by those two birds. Those birds are symbolic to, you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, whatever. Yeah, this impasse here, it's time for you to reflect and redirect your energy. But I'm telling you, whatever this is you get ready to step into, it's about to be huge. And don't feel singled out. It's a lot of people going through changes, okay? Why? Ooh, spirit. Look at this. Ooh, child. Oh, my God. Wise leader, you're a beacon of light for others. I said somebody got to be the first. Huh? Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. That's the, that's the change right there. Some people don't want that change. No, they don't now. Nah. That, that man and what he did. Uh, he went on to hire another black deputy. Because it was time. 
It was time for it. A breakthrough is at hand. Talk to them, Spirit. Talk to these people today. I was saying something about new discovery. I said we might see the Page of Pentacles, but hell, this is the same thing. Breaking trail. A lot of you are breaking barriers. You're breaking barriers. You're going to be like the two deputies that just got hired in my little scenario that I was getting off of uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, man. They, they were harassing them boys. They was doing all kind of stuff. And they, they was... <laughs> listen. Now, it was at a time where they couldn't arrest no white people. They can only patrol their neighborhood because it was in the, I think, 50s or 60s. But they had to be the first ones to open the door for all of the African-American officers that we have today, you see. Just like with the Tuskegee Airmen, they had to be the first so they can open the doors for all of the African-American people that we have now fighting them uh, fighter planes. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, whoever the fuck this is watching, you are a wise leader. You about to be the first. You're helping in this transformation, right? The phoenix rising from the ashes. A fresh new way of living emerges. Breaking trail. Breaking uh, a breakthrough is at hand. Spirit. But you are in. I knew it. You are in uh, unknown territory. But you're right where you're supposed to be. Okay. So let's close out. With an angel message. Yeah look at that. Workshops and seminars. Spirit. And it's the perfect timing. We already saw that TikTok and this card says the perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. And while you walk through them, know that we will be by your side. That were the two angels. I, when I said they were standing side by side, that's some powerful stuff, man. And when you're getting uh, help from the angelic realm, it's like... The parting of the Red Sea. Motherfuckers just got to move out the way. They're not going to go out without a bang. You hear me? So whatever this is, even if it's just as simple as somebody changed the schedule, uh, people are going to bitch. People, some people will quit. Some people will withdraw their kids from that school. But I'm just taking my kid out of this school. Because you got some people who just want it their way. And, and they know that it's been changed. Listen, we can't do PTA anymore on Tuesdays. It will now be on Fridays. They will want to talk to the motherfucking uh, assistant principal, the head principal, the board of education, the, the goddamn state governor. They will want to also that it, they, they can get the PTA to go back to Tuesday. And so when they talk to each one of those people and each one of those people tell them that, no, uh, ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're going to, you know, we had to do this. It's going to be on Fridays now. Is there anything I can do to, you know, help this tr uh, transition be easier for you? Um... Maybe I can, is it transportation that you need? Or, like, people are going to be offering to help the transition be smooth, but they're not going to go back to having the motherfucking PTA meeting, meetings be on Tuesday. It's going to be on Friday. Now, you ask and show them eat pizza if you want to, or you can go on over there and bitch in the corner, you see. And people ain't going to like that. Whatever the fuck this is, they're not going to like it. You have people, oh, I know this person and I know, I don't give a fuck who you know. These orders is coming from the divine. Did you see that judgment card? From the top, from the north to the south, these orders is coming from up. You hear me? So, baby, go for it. Huh? Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. Baby. Baby. Hello. Baby. Look at this. Didn't I say somebody could be doing spell work on your motherfucking throat? Look at this spirit say, uh-uh. Throat chakra. The angels are helping you to love and to speak your truth. Huh? Ascended masters. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Ascended masters just don't hang around anybody. Not just know anybody. You feel me? So spirit says, visualize success. See yourself doing good in the situation. Have faith for a positive outcome. And what's that? New partner. Hey, listen. A chance meeting was no mistake. It was divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion. Huh? For this change. 
So now some of you with this new partner, you're meeting your twin flame. And a lot of you will come together and, and assist in this. This is not something that's going to... Y'all, change, it takes time. But like I said, somebody got to be the first. Somebody got to be the first. Look at that medium shit. Ooh, spirit. Talk to these folk today. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Hell. Maybe, uh... Alright, so we already saw the spirituality card. So this would be the black deputy that they don't want to be hired. They don't want nobody with, with, with uh, spiritual gifts stepping into something or being allowed to do something. Even if they got rid of this one, whoever is making these changes, they'll go and get another one. They'll go and find another spiritual person because that's what he did. They didn't want him. They, I'm talking about it was a whole communities did not want that man. It was other people on his side too, though. But majority of them folks, they didn't want him to hire them um, black deputies. When they shot one of them, he replaced him. Like, hold y'all are not going to make me change. Like I said, the meeting will no longer be on Tuesdays. It will not be on Fridays. Okay, now I can offer you assistance to make this transition a little bit smoother. But it is what it is at the end of the day. And, I, and I'm, I'm being very respectful when I say that. Okay? Okay? Reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Okay? We did see that windfall. Huh? All right, y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. I'm excited for this, you know? And, um, because it's time, like, baby. It's time. There's so many of us out here who are spiritually gifted and instead of people looking at us in a negative light, they should just see it from a different perspective. Like, see how we can actually help. If given the opportunity, y'all know I want to be a psychic investigator, right? i just put it out there again. But uh, if given the opportunity, bro, I would listen. Because, you know, when you do that job, you're going to have to eat different. You, you know what I'm saying? So that you get the messages. If I, if I was given the opportunity, I would do everything they told me I need to do. Because I want it. I want it. But that's not a job that you can just go and apply for. Which is why Spirit says, elevate your awareness and think bigger. So you need to already visualize yourself doing that. Which I do at night. I just sit there and visualize myself already in that field. Already doing something with my gifts. Or else Spirit wouldn't open them up to me. That's something that I could just do naturally. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just there. It just just boom and when i get the cars i see things that other people don't see in them and it makes sense or i touch a car night like hold up i know the car say this but i'm picking up this you know so why not make space for those gifts to be used if it's going to bring if it's a good thing that's how i feel about it okay so again i love y'all from the bottom of my feet till next time bye